Oh hi! Welcome back to another video, another episode of Poppy Playtime, Chapter Two. Um, I finally got it to work. I think after some more research and tinkering, and so we're gonna jump back into it. Now, here's the the issue. Just to come clear on this, so I had before I was having issues with the game when it was crashing all the time. I had already recorded like the first 22 minutes of the of the game, and that's when it started crashing and that's when i decided like okay i definitely cannot play this game right now i have to wait until i can find a fix or they patch it or something and once that's done then i'm gonna record the rest of the game so that happened i managed to fix the game or, or get it to a working state for me i recorded the rest of the game right and then i lost the initial footage of the first 22 minutes of the video that i had already recorded or the first 22 minutes of the game that I have already recorded. So we have to go through that again because I don't want to just put out an incomplete video essentially. So we're gonna go through the first part of the game and my reactions to that are not gonna be you know the original reactions probably because you know I I've already seen it and then you're gonna see you know the rest of the footage with unadulterated <laughs> reactions. So let's just jump back into it let's just go into a new game. So you can see, you know, how this chapter begins, if you haven't already. And then, you know, you'll see the rest of the video. So here we can see the long arms of Mummy. Mummy Longlegs. Playtime Co's new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist mommy long legs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you. Play. Yeah, that's, that's not creepy at all. Fun, she's having fun. The new mommy long legs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Playtime. I love. Ah, oh, yeah. We yeah. have creepy images of mommy long legs. Yeah. And the creepy silhouette of Poppy on the screen. Ooh. Scaly. <laughs> Wake up. Yeah. Poppy playtime. I love how in that little video at the beginning they actually like match the aesthetic of like 90s, you know, commercials and they give the children like actual Playtime Co. shirts with the characters and stuff. Okay, so this is where we left off the first game, right? When we open, or the first chapter, when we open the Annabelle case where Poppy was held. And now everything is creepy. Ooh, so creepy. Uh, I don't remember if anything here changed a lot, except for this, that now it's on its side instead of blocking the door. And there's nothing I can do on this side, so we go. We move on. Got Brown the dinosaur. Huggy Woogie. I think these doors are locked, right? Yeah. Yep. Doors are locked. This way. I hear her whispering. Boogie Bot. Okay. So yeah, we cannot enter the Elliot Lotwig uh, office just yet. But we can come here and there's a new mechanic in this game in which you can hold on to things and woo, swing over. And mind you, the first time I did this, it took me like five tries to <laughs> like get that jump right. Okay. Press here. <laughs> Oh, yo. Someone need a hug? No, I don't. Give me a big squeeze. I big squeeze. I won't bite. No, you just hug me until I pop. Come closer, friend. I'll squeeze you until you. 
squeeze you till you pop. <laughs> Shut up, Huggy Wuggy. And? Yeah. And here we have a key. Was there a trophy on this? There wasn't, right? It was just a key. I don't think there was anything else in here. We can't do anything with that. So we can go back to the office. Whoa! First try. Okay, and now we can come in here. Yeah, first trophy. So, in this chapter we get trophies. I don't think I got all of them. Um... The first time around uh, and there was also something else oh a cassette tape that's right set tape playtime co is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig divorced but a family man at heart his sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... In the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So, a little backstory on the founder of Playtime Co., Elliot Ludwig. And then here we have just like drawing. Ooh. Okay. We have drawings of the kids. My best friend, a dinosaur brown. Poppy. Thank you, Mr. Ludwig. Uh, for Elliot Ludwig. Huggy and Kissy. So, yeah. And we can head on over here. Whoa! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Scare me again. <laughs> Fuck, Poppy. Just trying to get the power back on. Here. I knew she was coming, but for some reason it still scared me. Why the hell can I? Jesus. Um, I wanted to thank you for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coach. That'll happen. You can have it out As soon as you get on up here. <laughs> So Puppy's gonna guide us through parts of this level. Hm, I didn't know I could do that. Come down, Puppy. I'll get there eventually. Um, and she has a code for a train that we need to get to to go to the surface. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Jesus Christ! So needy. Oh, I missed. Okay. Go back to the office. Hey, I'm up here. Hi. I see you. I see you too. I should be able to follow you through the fence. This way. Okay. All right. Your eyes are so human-like. I wonder why. Yeah, these weren't here before, but now that Poppy is guiding us, then we can do this. Wee 
First try. You can hear her singing. Is she gonna come out of here? Hmm. I wonder why they give us like something to build a stair out of. There. Move this out of the way. I don't think I explored this before. I mean, I don't think I did anything with this. Oh, maybe not. So that, it's weird that that's like that. You know? Makes me wonder. And it makes me wonder. Anyways. Keep on going. There's Poppy. Whoa. Listen. I'm going to need you to trust me. Whoa! Mommy long legs. Wee. Let's go after Poppy. Save her. I can't see anything. It's all dark. Oh, here we go. There's a tunnel. Wee. Imagine working in a place like this that has just this long ass toboggans. We got Eddie M and M and R, Leith Pierre, Elliot Ludwig, Stella Graber, and one without a name. Oh, I didn't notice there was names here. Huh. It's too dark for me to make the actual letters. It's an M. Uh, hmm. Well, here are the letters. You guys are the theorists. You can make it out if you want. Okay. Uh, I think I need to go over there. I don't remember there being anything. Whoa, I'm super strong now. Anything back here, right? I don't think there was anything. The biggest thing for me in this playthrough is like getting all the trophies. I'm using physics to my advantage. Nothing here. Those technically will like rotate and topple, but it doesn't want to do that, it just wants to slide. Okay. So, I remember this being a pain in the ass. So how do I do this? So this is number one. So I need to come here first, I think. If I remember how to do this correctly. Come over here. Right? And then I activate this. Like so. Yes. And then I can do what? That. And then I can do this. Yeah, first try. First time I did this, it took me like, I don't know, a billion times to figure that one out. And now that opens the game station. Weep. Oh no. No, my hand. My hand. Pop it. Very exciting, mommy. Mommy heard that Miss Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. Now, how is that fun? Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And no. if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> That's messed up. But how am I going to do this without a hand? And this is the faithful moment where everything went to shit. The first time I tried to play this chapter, everything crashed. And then I fixed it. And then, you know, I lost this initial footage. So this is where I got to the first time around. So now what you're gonna see 
is me going through the entire game <laughs> after this point. So I'll see you there. Okay, so this is where we crashed the last time. So I was like, welcome to the game station. Yeah, I was reading this. Welcome to game station or whatever. And then whoop, everything just fell apart. Okay. Yes. Maybe. Okay. So I think that's all we're gonna get from that. Okay, so far we haven't crashed. <laughs> I'm just so nervous that it's just everything's gonna go to hell. Um, disclaimer as I was tinkering around and uh you know trying to get things to work but you know in the previous recording session uh i found a trophy here and i grabbed it before the game crashed so let me see is there a way that i can see that yeah so it was i think it was the train maybe or this guy i don't know but anyways there was another treasure right there okay To Braun, you are my best friend for you. Oh, cookies. Awesome. Oh. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't scare by a sound of my environment, you know? So, here's a funny story while we're exploring this place right so in looking for other games to play since you know puppy playtime wasn't working and hopefully now it is working um one of the games that i was like oh this would be a fun game to this would be a, a fun game to revisit and to you know um record for the channel um i downloaded Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green, which is a zombie game that released, I don't know, somewhere around 2000, uh, 2003, 2008, I don't know, early 2000s. Um, uh -huh, buggy. Okay, all, all the, oh, okay, that wasn't me, I don't think, yeah, no, that wasn't me, something moved somewhere. Um, so I downloaded Land of the Dead, and here's the, the funny story with that game. Um, that is the one game, no matter how janky and old it might be, it is the one game. So, with all these fucking noises, it is the one game that I cannot bring myself to complete because of how bad it scares me. Okay, no trophies there. Holy shit. I think the game is like, motherfucker, move. And that's why it's making all of these sounds, just to, like, scare me. Um, so, the atmosphere of that game... Like, the game, if you look at it, if you watch a YouTube video or whatever, it's like, whatever. It's just, you know, you're just a farmer with a gun, and there's, like, zombies around you, and you shoot the zombies, and they're dead. It's not, like, revolutionary, right? But here's the thing about the game. The atmosphere and the sound design of that game is so messed up that even the title screen like the menu of the game it just wrecks me it's, it's just like just the sounds of the menu are so fucking unsettling that even that just like you know it, it, it just wrecks my day And so I downloaded that. Uh, I downloaded that game, um, you know, looking for alternatives since Poppy wasn't working. And 
I booted it up to make sure everything was working fine. I didn't play the game. I just literally just sat on the menu. And I got nightmares that night. Like, I couldn't sleep that night. And it's the stupidest fucking game ever. And it just scares the crap out of me so fucking bad. That just just by the atmosphere, just by the sound design, it's just like... It destroys me. And sometimes it's not about the jump scare. Sometimes it's not about, you know, the loud noises and stuff. It's more about the atmosphere and the forcing you to do stuff and go places that you don't want to do or go to. Preparing for departure in three, two, one. Hi, how are you? Oh no, you're kissy. You're not huggy. You're kissy. Choo choo! Choo 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 Okay. Preparing for departure. Three, two, one. Okay, so it really wants me to pull that lever. But before I do, I'm hunting for treasure. Be very, very quiet. So I don't have the green hand yet. I'm assuming I'm gonna get it soon. So let's just grab onto that lever. Okay. Welcome to the game station. Thank you. And we've got three super duper fun games. Oh, Stella. Oh, Stella. Show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Yes. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit. Oh, Musical Memory. Okay. Um Okay, so I'm supposed to go down there now. Uh, Stella is, for those of you who may not remember, the employee at Playtime Co. that got turned into, or the theory is that she got turned into Bobby. Uh, let me see um, if... I know that they were like trying to update the settings, but they haven't yet. So for some reason in chapter two we don't we don't have subtitles, which is weird, but whatever you know. At this point, I'm just happy that the game is just working. So what is this musical memory? Let's party. Playtime company are not permitted to partake in group facilities during company hours. Okay. Who are you? Bunso Bunny. Okay. Uh, that's not ominous at all. Can I? Okay. When, your birthday is. when is it? <laughs> nope. You're over a few months. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. No, you don't. Nope. You're off by six months and one day. Okay. To the depths we go. Oh, my game is chugging a little bit. It's all good. Okay. Molding room. Molding what? Okay, so I'm supposed to grab that lever. Okay. okay. Are you okay? Are you feeling fine? Let's explore around a bit, see what's around here before we start doing any game shenanigans. I thought we were supposed to play musical memory or something. Why are we in a molding room? 
Is it molding as in we mold stuff, like we give it shape? Or is it molding as in it's filled with mold? Oh, so this is, I think this is the scene from that trailer. That we get like the green hand and we can shoot it over there or something like that. And there's a green cassette tape that we need to find, a VHS tape. Um, where might that be? What's doing beep? Okay, oh, here it is. Okay, let's go play it. More lore! Playtime Co. Green Hand. Sheer Green Power Outlet. To temporarily hold electricity. Temporarily. Electric charge lasts for 10 seconds. I love the music though. After 10 seconds, the charge runs out. Okay. When holding electricity, shoot green hand receivers to temporarily power other systems. They are on the same timer. Lack of caution may result in injury. Oh my god, that's very grisly. <laughs> Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. Don't grab your pack during store hours. Okay. What's the time? Play time. Get out of here, chair. I don't trust you. Okay, water. Water. Okay. That's not water. It's not bowls. Okay. Oh. What? It turned into goo. It turned into mush. Okay, water goes down. Okay. Uh, more water goes down. Am I supposed to do something with this? Oh. Can I fix this? Yeah! Okay. Do that again. Okay. And now... Oh, okay, so we get a hand. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, there's a trophy there! How can I grab that trophy? Yeah! We got a trophy. Oh, look at the hands, okay. Yes. Next one. Hey, <laughs> you just paint it green, that's all you do? Uh, okay, so why are you not working? No paint in machine. What, what the hell is going on? What the? Did you just... Did you just multiply? Did you just... Mitosis? Okay, there's a lot of sounds going around, but I don't know what's going on. So, the machine needs paint. This is open now. Oh, here's the paint. Okay. So, I can grab you. And drop you here. Yes. Is there anything else I can do here? Anything at the end of the line? No. Huh! <laughs> Didn't make it. Maybe if I jumped. Could have made it. Okay. So we paint the hand green. Perfect. And now what? Move the line. And we get our hand. High five. Whoopsh, whoopsh. Yeah! We get a hand. And now we can do the thing from the trailer. Yeah! Awesome! Oh, I didn't look at the treasure that we got. Uh, I think we read this note already, right? Green hand. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So we can come here now. Uh -huh, do not enter. I will not. So 
very quiet now, all of a sudden. Think green, reduce, reuse, ikiki. <laughs> and player cycling habits must not even be like that colorful. I'm sorry, it's just the video that it just got me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will know. It's very quiet. Okay, so this is musical memory, I guess. Yes. Okay. Green server as a camera. Oh no. Oh no, what are you doing up there? Cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several oh, segments no. of the brain, Bug allowing that. us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. Okay. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you Red, must blue. recreate the exact sequence using Red, the buttons blue. around you. Yay. Okay. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. Oh, when you no. complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. Oh the test no, will Bunzo! More difficult as it continues with longer patterns in quicker succession. I hate That's this. I'm all. terrible at this. Good luck. I am fucking terrible at this. Oh no, he's already moving. I can see him like moving side to side. Okay, and where are the buttons? Oh. No, Bozo. No. No, Bozo. No. Why do you have? Why? Oh no. Why do you have? That's the dinner bell. Good luck. Why do you have sharp teeth? Oh no, I hate this already. Oh, here are the colors. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Blue. Yellow, blue, green. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, yellow. No, 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 no. Red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Blue. Yellow, blue, green, red. Blue. Ah, <laughs> he's too close. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow, violet. What? Yellow, blue, red, blue, yellow, violet! How the fuck yellow, do I do violet? Red, blue, yellow, violet? Yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, violet! What? Yellow, blue, red, oh no, no! Yellow, blue, red, blue, yellow, fuck! <laughs> How the fuck do I do violet? Isn't it, isn't it red and... <sighs> isn't it red and blue? Isn't that violet? What the fuck is violet? Okay, let's try that again. Blue. Uh, blue. Blue, red. Blue, red. Blue, red. Yellow. Blue, red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow, blue. Blue, red, yellow, blue. Blue, red, yellow, blue, violet. Oh! Blue, red, yellow, blue, violet? Oh, I didn't see there was an extra button. I thought I had to make it like a... A <laughs> combination. Orange? Oh, uh, no! <laughs> no, no! 
Orange, green. <laughs> Orange, green, violet. What? Orange, green, violet, white. <laughs> Orange, green, violet, white, violet. <laughs> Violet, white, violet, yellow. Orange, green, violet, white, violet, yellow. <laughs> Round four. <laughs> How many rounds? Stop. Blue. J. Blue, what? J. What's J? What? What? Oh, no. Blue J. Blue J. Okay. Blue J. No! Ah! <laughs> Blue J. Where's orange? Orange. What? Oh, it was, it was hard. Blue J. Hard, hard, hard. Blue J. Do you say hard blue? <laughs> Blue. Yay. Where's Jay? Yay. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Blue. Ah, Jay. Blue. I don't remember. Kill me. <laughs> I don't remember. I was too stressed. I was too stressed out. I don't remember. Uh, this is invite you. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's do this. How many rounds are this this mess? I need to remain calm so I can remember this. Okay, J. J heart. J heart. J heart. J heart. Smiley face. J heart. Smiley face. J heart. Smiley face. Okay, J heart smiley face pie. J heart smiley face pie. J heart smiley face pie pie. Okay. Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm getting through that. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> You're no fun. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Okay, part of the code. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Thank you. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. That's weirdly sexual. <laughs> the, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not Jordan Peterson. I don't have thoughts about my grandma or my mother in that way. Dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool, which was also a river. Her genital region was exposed dimly. It had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. What? Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Uh, I don't know where I am, but hey, I think there's a good place to call it. We survived. First try, <laughs> musical madness or whatever, musical memory. Um, and I'm guessing now we're gonna have to go to the train and do the next game. Um, but hey, so far the game hasn't crashed, so that's a success for me <laughs> and for you because you're watching this video. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed it so far. Uh, I'm really enjoying Poppy Playtime. I, I can't wait for them to release chapter three and four and however many chapters they need to release. Um, and I'm really hoping you're enjoying it too. Thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. Thank you for watching. Um, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Remember to follow me on my social media, on Twitter and Instagram. Follow me on twitch.tv slash if you want to catch me live when I do live streams. And on my social media, I'm always 
letting you know when am I going to be, you know, streaming live and all that kind of stuff so you can join the fun. Um, and that's going to do it for me for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. And until the next one, bye-bye. Zombie Apocalypse.